Hey girl, hey, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Fantasia and thank you so much for clicking and watching today's video. I'm so happy to have all of you guys here and I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everyone is doing well. Yeah, that sounds a little better. But yes, guys, welcome to my channel and thank you guys so much for tuning in. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about some things that can keep you going on your healing journey, on your journey of change, of your journey of moving forward. I want to talk about some things that will keep you going in the midst of all these unfamiliar things, all these things that may happen. These things undoubtedly work and will keep you going in a positive direction. And I totally want that for everyone who has taken the courage, taken up against all adversity, taken up against everything to say, I want to be a better person. I want to help you. So I got some things I want to give you and shout out to all my new subscribers. I'm so excited and happy to have all of you guys here. Thank you for just trusting me on this journey and thank you for seeing something in me that can really just help you because that's all I am here for is to give, 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 and I love doing so. So if you're interested in contributing to your journey, adding to your life, this is the video for you and let's go ahead on and get into it. First, I would like for you guys to subscribe, hit that notification bell, comment down below. Do all the things to keep this channel growing, sis. I need you guys. I need you guys to interact with me. I see you guys there. But I want to see how you guys really feel, how you guys are doing. Like, that's real. The only way to do that is to comment down below, stay connected, and do all of those things, you know? I hate to sound like I'm begging, so I try to stay away from, like, over-asking. But I want you guys to know it's important at the same time. So, yes, guys, after all of that being said, let's go ahead on and get into this video. Let's go ahead and dive on into this video. I think this will be a quick, easy, fun video where I can just share some things that I know will undoubtedly keep you going in a positive direction. I think whenever we decide to do things in our life, whenever it comes to change, there's just this like unspoken level of like adversity that exists between you. There's adversity and then change, right? So there's a lot of things that keep people from reaching their full potential in their healing journey. And I experience them. And I just wanna share some things that I know for a fact will work and get you guys to that next level in your life, whatever it is. Exercising, change, healing is my biggest thing, but there's a lot of things that this will help you with. So uh, the first thing I just wanna go ahead and dive on into the video. The first thing I wanna do is, at some point you've got to just truly stop caring what people think, okay? Like so many of us are crippled by the thoughts of other people. And let me break this statement down on a lot of levels. We're going to be quick, but we're going to break it down. So what I mean by stop caring what people think, like who you went to high school with, it doesn't matter now, sis. Like we're no longer going to care about the people we grew up with. Like it's different if you care about people's opinions and like the way you carry yourself and all of that. But to a certain extent, you, you can't really care that people knew you when you were living in your trauma self, that they knew you when you were a hot mess and they're going to think you're just being fake because you want to be somebody new and all of these other things. Like at some point, you've got to get to the point where this is who I am. This is what I need. And it doesn't matter how people knew me, what they thought that I was going to be, who they thought they knew that they knew. And they really didn't even know because they don't know themselves. And like what I really want to share with you is it just doesn't matter. You got to do what it takes for you to get to where you need to be in despite of other people's opinions. Like you know, you know what you need. You know where you are. You know what God's telling you. You know what is being spoken to you you know what you have the urge for and the, the reality of it is people are always going to talk about it and always have an opinion about it until they see you do it and then once they see you do it they're going to be on that same train and more than likely asking how you got there so be the first take the courage let go of people's thoughts let go of your inner thoughts and just take the leap of faith and do whatever it is to get to the next level of your life and embrace this new you and this new change right so let's go ahead on and move in to the next one this is something that i totally struggled with not only in my healing journey but in my trauma self i felt like i always had to remind people of who i was and i'm not to be played with or who i was and i'm still working on me or who i was 
the point is you don't have to remind people of who you were or you don't necessarily even have to remind them of where you're working towards and i feel like that's important because to a certain extent, if you're always focused on who you were and reminding people who you were, you're still putting that version of yourself out in the atmosphere. And that's not necessarily healthy. Who you are is who you are today and who you are is who you are becoming. And you have to have complete faith in that. And I think sometimes we, myself, you, we always do it because we want to remind people and we're still not confident in the person that we're becoming. And I want you to be confident in a person that you know you can become at all levels of this process. And you cannot fully do that if you're reminding people of, well, I used to be the chick that could beat somebody up and tear somebody down. Unless, because I know I did that in my last video, it's an okay time to do it if it's going to be at the expense of somebody else's healing journey. If you know it'll help somebody to get to where they need to be in their healing journey, it's okay to say, hey, this is who I was. I'm no longer that person, but God helped me get to this next place in my life. Like that type of thing, if that makes sense. But you don't have to constantly like somebody give you a compliment and be like, girl, you look... You're so much different than you were five days ago. You're so much different because everybody got an opinion. But, girl, you're so much different than you were two years ago. Yeah, girl, but I'm still not the place and I'm still not the one. You still don't want to be messing with me. I, you know, you don't have to do that. Be confident. Say thank you. I appreciate that. It's It's been a journey, but I really appreciate all the work that I've done. Be positive about who you're becoming so that you can believe it and others can believe it for you. And I think certain statements like girl you don't want to you don't want me to remind you about who i used to be like those statements are just not edifying and they're not conducive of somebody who deserves to see the better version of themselves and become the better version of themselves so stop reminding people who you used to be or who you were be confident in the person that you're becoming period sis all right so Another thing, uh-oh, wiping my face like I don't have makeup on, girl. It is what it is. <laughs> we keep it real around here. But no, another thing I wanted to share with you guys is you have to have an understanding that change, becoming at all, becoming does not happen overnight. You can make a choice today and see that through day by day, but the actual change may not follow for six months. It may not follow for a year. It may not follow for two years. You may not look back and really feel like a new person right away at all. But the the reminder is to be consistent in being going in a positive direction. But I want to remind you guys that you do not, I want to remind you guys that change does not happen overnight it didn't take you um it didn't take you overnight to get how you were it's not going to take you overnight to see a difference in who you are becoming but change does happen and you will get to a point where you start feeling like the person you're becoming the best advice i can give you in it takes time is that to keep going don't revert back because you don't see the change or you don't feel the change. A lot of people get stuck right there. Oh, I stopped eating uh, my snacks. I stopped eating all my carbs and all my sugars for two days. I don't see no changes, girl. So I'm going to go ahead and buy, buy the same thing that was adding to me being unhealthy, right? So it's the same thing with evolution emotionally and mentally. It's the exact same thing. And honestly, it may take a little longer to see emotional physical, to, excuse me, it may take a little longer to see emotional mental changes because you cannot physically see them and you cannot always feel it. But the best advice, like I said, is to keep going in a direction where you're shedding old ways, where you're no longer doing the things that are no longer contributing to who you were or who you are as the person that you're becoming, is to stay doing positive things. Stay doing things that were not common of who you were used to be. And I guarantee you, at some point, you will see a difference in the person that you are. So here's another thing that kind of just ties into what I was really just saying, because things can get hard and things will get hard and things will get unfamiliar. Things will seem like they're almost getting worse before they're getting better is that you have to keep going no matter what. Okay. 
You got to keep going no matter what. I'm going to say it one more time. You have to keep going no matter what. There are so many things that are going to happen. In fact, it's almost going to seem like one day you just... Okay. It's almost going to seem like one day you decide that I want to be a better person. And then the next day, the same exact thing you said you're going to work on, you're going to be tried in that very area. In fact, your whole being may be tried, right? I cannot even explain to you the amount of times I've set up and said I'm going the other way. It's easier to be a hot mess than it is to be a better person. I have set up on the phone, cried with my mentor, cried and said, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. But you've got to keep going. I've been triggered. I've been looked at like I'm stupid. And there's times that I just didn't even believe it for myself. That I mean, it just gets that bad. And then I'm not going to talk about the exhaustion that comes with change. But the reality of it is I would not be able to sit here in front of this camera and confidently tell you that change is a thing if... Sorry, girl, I'm out here being nosy if I didn't keep going. And there's something so beautiful on the other side of keeping a promise to yourself, being obedient to who you are. It sets you apart. It makes you more marketable for you and other people to believe that you're willing to believe in your change and you to believe in your change if you are if you keep going, right? You gotta keep going when the going gets tough, right? At all points, keep going, get on the phone, call somebody, Hustle it out, hustle it out, keep going, keep going, keep going because you're worth it. You're you need it, you deserve it. Remind yourself of those things, get on your knees and pray. Uh, encourage yourself. There's so many ways, but keep going at all costs in that positive direction. And the last thing I think that's on my list is to watch your thoughts. And what I mean by watching your thoughts is, um. Let's see how to put this. Watching your thoughts and what I mean by that is that you have to watch what you believe about yourself. You have to watch how you think about yourself during this time. And you have to watch how your thoughts follow through with how you speak. So let me explain that. Watch your thoughts means that you have to think of yourself as where you want to be. So my life changed when my thoughts changed first. When I started really believing inside of my head and watching my thoughts that, okay, this is probably a difficult time for me, or this is probably a time where I would do this, but I'm going to speak life over who I'm becoming. Meaning that this is difficult for me, but I'm worth this change. This change is not something I'm familiar with, but I'm gonna dig deep and I'm gonna think positive about it and I'm going to figure out how we can maneuver through this versus times are difficult, I'm a loser. I don't deserve this. I suck. I'm always getting things wrong. It's me, me, me. Like you've got to change your thoughts. My thoughts are I did come from a life that was very hard. It was very unfortunate. But here I am now with the world at my fingertips. How am I going to make this happen for myself? Where's the plan going to start? It's going to start in my head and I'm worthy of it. I can do it. I deserve it. The change applies to me too. I need this change too. I can give myself this change. I am this change. Those are things that you need to think about yourself. Even something as simple as I can think about uh, the other day when I was coming through my door and I dropped some keys and I'm like, oh, Fantasia, it's always you. You do something stupid. You, you're dropping something on the floor and that's not okay. Like re reframe your thought process to positivity yeah you dropped your keys you probably shouldn't have been trying to carry everything in your hand but next time i won't do it let's move on and figure out how we can make life better i know that was like a minimal change for something so big but it all starts with how you think about yourself on every level sis on every single level you've got to start reframing your mind watching your thoughts and knowing that at every thought process at every second you got to keep that mind ready on I'm going to make this change for myself mentally emotionally and then your physical will follow right so that's really it guys I did kind of want this to be a quick video and as always 
you know, your worth this change, sis. This change is applicable for you too. Okay, so we are gonna call that the end of this video. I enjoyed sharing some of these tips with you guys. And as always, I hope that they added something to your life. I want you guys to remember that at every step of the way, things are gonna look different. Things are gonna be different, but there is light at the end of the tunnel for you and who you are becoming. Always, guys, I wanna leave you guys with a little bit of something. You know, change is hard. That's the reality of it. Change don't come ready to just cushion you in. Usually it's pretty abrupt. We prepare ourselves for it in some capacity, but hopefully these were some tools that you can put in your toolbox and pull them out whenever things get hard, whenever things look unfamiliar. You can use them as a guide and a light to your healing path. And that's always something I enjoy giving you guys. So with that being said, I hope that this video added something to your life, gave you hope and found you purpose. And I will see you guys in the next one. I love you guys so much. Take care. Bye. <laughs>